Hey everyone, in this video, I'll be going over how you can customize your story tag groups in Flow. Story tag groups are a great way to organize or sort where your stories are going. And to see your story tag groups, you can either come to the stories tab here and click on create story, or you can click on an existing story to open it up. And the story tag groups are going to appear over here on the left hand side. So you might think of these again as a way to indicate where the story is going or sort the story. Some common story tag groups that we often see, and you can actually see these in this example, would be a section tag group. Which section will this story be published in? A publication tag group, if you are using Flow to plan multiple publications. And then an issue tag group, if you are using Flow to produce any print or magazine or print issue content. You can adjust these tag groups, so I can remove a tag group, I can add a new one, and I will show you that in a few minutes here. Within each of these story tag groups, you will be able to select the appropriate tag. So for this story, maybe it is going in my news section, so I'm going to select the news tag within that section tag group. Maybe it is going in both our online website and our print newspaper, so I can select both of those in the publication tag group. And then for issue, maybe it is going in our September issue, so I can select that tag. Kind of like the tag groups, you can also adjust the individual tags within each of those groups. So for example, if I needed to add more tags or remove tags, I am able to do that. To make adjustments to your story tag groups or the individual tags within your groupings, you will want to go to your flow settings here and then click on the Story Tag Groups tab. Once I'm here, I can toggle between my different Story Tag Groups up here at the top to choose the one that I want to edit. And the first thing is you can either add new tag groups or delete tag groups. So let's say, for example, that um, I am not going to be doing any kind of print planning on Flow, so I don't need this issue tag group. I can click on that tag group and click on this red delete tag group button to remove it from my Flow account. On the other hand, if I wanna create a new tag group, I can click on create new tag group up here at the top. Let's say that I am going to have multiple class periods that are gonna be using this Flow account. So I wanna create a tag group to be able to choose which class period certain stories are for. Again, I can create new tag group and give it a title. I can choose the style that I want, um, either a drop down of options or a checkbox. And that's going to determine what those individual tags look like. I'm going to choose a checkbox for this one. And then I can add my individual tags to this new group that I'm creating. So maybe I have a period two, period three, and period four. In addition to creating new tag groups or deleting tag groups, I can also adjust the individual tags within a group. So for instance, if I click on my sections tag group here, I can see all of my individual tags within that sections group. So I've got news, sports, opinion, features, etc. If I need to add new tags, let's say I need to add editorials and multimedia. I can just type those here and click on enter to add those tag groups or to add those individual tags, excuse me. If I need to delete an individual tag within a group, I can just click on this little uh, minus icon next to it to delete it. So in addition to adjusting the individual tags within the groups, you'll also notice the key editors column. So I can assign key editors to any of these tags. And where I think you'll probably do this most is in the section tag group. This is where you can indicate your section editor. So I've got some news section editors, sports opinion. Uh, maybe I need to add an additional features editor here. I can click and choose those key editors accordingly. I can do this for any of the other tags too. So if I switch to my publication tag group, maybe I have a newspaper, print editor, and an online key editor. Again, I can select those key editors here. And this becomes important a little later on when we discuss setting up your workflow. So if you have any more questions about key editors, you can check out our key editors and workflows resource, and I'll be walking through the key editors in a little bit more detail.
Once I have my story tag group set up to my liking, I'm going to click on save tag groups up here in the corner. And now if I go back to that stories page where I was a few minutes ago and I click on a story, I can see those updates to my tag groups over here on the left. So I can see the updates to the individual tags within my sections group that I made. I can also see that my issue tag group no longer appears since I deleted it, but my class periods tag group that I added is now visible here. So that is everything about customizing your flow account story tag groups. And again, you can think of those story tag groups as just kind of some options for organizing your content and organizing where your story will go. Be sure to check out our other flow support videos or reach out to us at support at snowsites.com with any additional questions you have. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.